Thank you for joining us on yet another interesting edition of the Sopadic Weekly. As you know, it's a platform where we bring all the activities, happenings at the Delta State Oil Producing Areas Development Commission. In recent episodes, we have been featuring major events of the outgoing year 2021. Today, we shall bring you more highlights of the happenings in the year 2021, as a lot happened in this Sopadic. Thank you for joining us. Joy Uchi is my name. Welcome on board. <music> Me, actually, they talk to Naso, Una servant, God's servant, Una take Una and select, make he represent Una for the super deck. You trust Una get for me, now get for now. You tune Una say me go come do for the super deck, now we they do, now Una say now this work. Una right come give us, we go take do budget, so now want the road, the road we they do one today. On a right committee also, now want hospital. The hospital, we give them back to now today. On a right committee also, we could do bridge and jetty. Jetty and market, we give them back to now today. So everything on a right committee also, we could do. On a no say with it one. So we could join hand together to make sure say this property, we keep them in touch. And they could very, very well. They could not carry the property. They could not look the property. Because if we not look away, we not picking go enjoy them. Na picking picking go enjoy. Na go remember one day, say within the super deck, do for our community. Thank you once again, and may God bless all of us. Oil Producing Areas Development Commission has consistently endeared itself to the inhabitants of its mandate areas across Urobo, Ishekiri, Ijo, Isoko, Ndokwa, and Ika lands through its various human capital development programs. Innovative programs that have reduced unemployment, poverty, restiveness, and the crime rate in the state. These were achieved through activities of one of the Commission's flagship programs, the SOPADEC Skills Academy. It is a vocational skill acquisition platform created to equip youths from Delta oil producing communities and further empowerment with starter packs and take off grants needed to grow their desired enterprises. In the last episodes of the SOPADEC Weekly, we showcased the key events of the SOPADEC Skills Academy in the year 2021. 
More highlights are in today as we bring you activities of the team of monitors whose job is to evaluate students' performance while in training at the academy. Fashion design and tailoring, catering and confectionaries, as well as hairdressing and makeover were the first training centers visited by the team. Others were interlock, tiling and POP, electrical repairs and installations, welding and fabrication. At the interlock, tiling and POP training centers, the monitoring team met students mastering the arts of making interlock stones with the supervision of a trainer. Well, well, we have been doing dealing on the theory aspects, but yesterday and today we are doing the practical. This is what you are just seeing now. We are casting caps now, and they tell us how to lay the ground, prepare the ground before we lay our water logging. And even the vibration machine, we have been taught how to use it and even do it also by myself. I next six months, let me even give myself next three months, I should be perfect in this work. I choose uh, interlocking POP Thailand. But uh, to this uh, Sanford interior, it does all kind of interior, including painting. Even now, I'm proud to say, we, by the grace of God, I'm able to know how to produce paint gradually. So this is a uh, tiling. We did this uh, toilet tiles from down to the wall to the ceiling. We also done so many things like a screening. As you can see, this is screening. With this program, it's helping us so much because some um, many practicals that we have not done before now. I think I'm proud to say, with this opportunity the state have given to us, I'm unable to know so many things. According to one of the trainers, Abimbola Yusuf, the students would gain experience in both theories and practicals with exposure to workshops outside their training centers. We start with introduction and as soon as I teach them and the introduction, I will take them to side like on Monday after little theory, we went to side together and we did a uh, lane which is installation. So right now what you're saying that we're doing a production as they are now they're going to be a, 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 on their own, they're going to be a boss on their own. So uh, within now the last six months, uh, with God helping us, they are, go they are going to become great. And they, do they are going to do well. The team of monitors also visited electrical repairs and installations training centers in Agbo and Wari. The, the very first day we learned about the introduction of electricity, why the second day we taught about safety of electricity, and we taught so many things. We taught, we taught about the life wire and the um, the earth and the neutral wire. We taught about the safety of uh, electricity on that on second day. Uh, my situation for the next six months, I know it's going to be wonderful. I'm going to be able to uh, complain the training and have be be aware of everything because the way the start with us, I know we we'll do well at the end of everything. For the training so far, I think uh, they keep it up. To give us more training about this, I think uh, in due time we will we'll be more successful in life. So far, so we're well, doing the introduction of the feet. I found that uh, it has a little, diff a little experience in the feet. So I now go straight to the point, introduce and tell him what is the mean by electricity. And even since he came, he has been performing well. So with that, I'm happy. So that it's a proud to me that after training, I say that's my boy. Welding and fabrication training centers at Ozoro and Wari came next for evaluation. I've been here for the day one of uh, this journey and I've uh, learned a lot of things from this uh, academic. Well, so far, I know if we continue this, I'll become a better citizen of Nigeria through. The Sofadel Academic. I really appreciate uh, uh, the Sofadel for their, this, uh, having this planning for this uh, youth of uh, this nowadays. I thank God for them. They are well done. 
At the time the monitoring team arrived at the Worry Training Center, a Fury class was on with all the students in attendance. The teachers about fabrication and the teachers about how to join mentors together and the points, the position of points and how many points we get and how to put metals together and actually the training is very interesting i pick up so many things in this training i have so more i gather so more ideas on this training so i know by the grace of god after the six months we will have something from here good things from here we will gather more ideas from here um since we resume the the program has been okay the man has been taking us stage by stage and each of the the step he has given us test and where we couldn't do well he monitored us and did some correction and he encouraged us to pick up and the workshop here in fact the people we meet here is very friendly they are taking us like children and we are going fast the so paddock weekly tv crew also engaged some of the trainers at the welding and fabrication training centers as you can see from the board, we've been able to introduce them to the concept of wedding, which is the from the manual for the training program, that is what they have at the first one, and that's fantastic. So we've been able to tell them different aspects of wedding uh, and so on and so on that they need to know about wedding. In terms of facilities, we have a number of wedding machines, gas cutting sets, grinding machine, bending machine, just name them what they need to be able to help them to acquire this skill, wedding and fabrication. I know I can assure you that God be with us in the next six months. We should be able to turn out boys that can open their workshop. Now so they send for training. Come this our company so. So now they, now they will train how to wed and how to fabricate right now that they work so. We they do fabrication, we they construct any kind of thing. We can wear the door, we can wear the tower, we can wear the gate, we can wear the Caravan, the training where they stay in Koso, as the way they teach them, that they try, that they do well, that they try, that they, that they try for it all. The head, the Youth and Sports Development Division of the Social Services Department, the SOPADEC, Theresa Ogborianwe, expressed satisfaction over the commitment of the students. Where we went visiting three days uh, visitation to the centers in Wari, in uh, Saple and Ugele. And what I saw really baffled me, the students I saw were like, I mean, very excited. Very, very excited about the program, very, very excited about their centers. They expressed their gratitude to the super deck, their uh, gratitude to the centers too, because the train, trainers are really doing a good job. At the end of the day, at the end of this six months program, we are going to come out with the best. The trainers are doing their work and they, they actually also promised that at the end of the day, they will try as much as possible to give us the best. My people, Namiro Bashan, ask you again, the managing director and chief executive officer of the SOPADEC, now come again to bring on this message. And when we talk of COVID-19, many, many people that they paint time, they talk plenty, plenty things. Either in not day, a day, they're not gonna do this, they're not gonna do that. I beg on her, we not take our life play. Me, when they, yes, when they follow on our talk, I don't take my vaccine already. I take the first two shots. When another variant come again, I don't go back, go take the booster shot. I make a number three. I beg on her. Make not take on a live play. And now when the cure this, so why we not go take the cure? I beg on her. Make everybody go take vaccine. The vaccine are free and it's there everywhere. Go take your vaccine. Make you stay alive. And you know, say we don't promise on plenty, plenty good things when we want to do for now. All the things. On our own part, we go do them all. We're ready to deliver all of those things for now. But you have to be alive. Now, those when they're alive, then go enjoy this thing. And I want to say, make you enjoy them. You when are the talk to so when they look at me. Enjoy them now. Stay alive. Still on a 
activities of the Sopad Skills Academy in 2021. A continuous assessment test was conducted across the training centers to test the students' level of assimilation and understanding in their different skills. At the Electrical Repairs and Installations Training Center, the students carried out both theory and practical tests. In the practicals, some of the students carried out repairs of household electrical appliances while others were tested in the installation of electrical fittings and practical detection of electrical faults. I will disconnect this extension bus and I reconnect it, reconnect it. And uh, I'll be able to loop the wires just from one face to these different boxes. And this is called two gang and this is called one gang. This is a switch bus and this is the light, uh, the one that the bulb uh, goes in that produces the light. So if I connect this to current now, we can make proper use of this uh, extension bus. By God's grace, I feel I've gotten experienced on how to detect faults on electrical appliances. With me here is an afrometer that is used to detect the fault. What I did was to connect the life and the neutral wire to the kettle to detect if there's a fault of which it has no reading, meaning if the kettle is faulty. And what, is, and what is faulty inside is the element. It has a bad element and it needs, and it needs to be changed. I have to say a very big thank you to the Desopadec board because they are a board, the Desopadec is a board that is committed to lifting the spirit in the minds of every youth out there creating a sustainable and a, a, a valuable life in them. In Thailand, Interlock and POP, the students also carried out theoretical and practical tests. They molded and installed caps and interlock stones. First and foremost, this is caps. And before you start molding caps, there are measurements of sand you use and smith and uh, grind it as well. And in the process of producing it, you have to make sure that the ground is on a very level ground before you start. Because if the ground is not level, you find out that the caps is not in straight level. So in, in process of you trying to, to, to fix it, it gives you problem. But if you can have a better ground, a level ground, you will not have problem in fixing it. Before me, I did this today. This is an interlock lane. And they have different sizes depending on the area of usage. We have the six centimeter, we have the four centimeters. I've gotten these keys today, an appreciation to the SOPADEC and the staffs of the SOPADEC and the government in general, in order to because when this is put in proper use, I'll be able to give a helping hand and train others based on the skill and knowledge I've gotten out of this. For those that did the cab, the shortcoming I saw in them is that the, the level of water that they added was a bit uh, not too much compared to how it ought to be. And the process of lubricating the mood was also, the mood was not properly covered as it ought to be. Then for those that did this uh, interlock, the interlock they did very well. Like we scored them let us say 80%. And I think before, probably before the end of the program, they will understand their shortcomings and they will, they will adjust it appropriately. At the shoe and bag making training center, the students produced trendy male and female sleepers for both native attires and casuals. We have what we call welt. This is welt palm. No, we have Nora, but this one is welt. The process, after measuring the leather, you cut after cutting you apply gum after the gum now you now sew after the sewing we you now do the last one which is the finishing part you can take it to anywhere you can wear it to, with a native to any occasion you feel like going well i feel i feel fulfilled i feel excited actually because it's not a wasted effort i've learned a whole lot before the test, I was actually running a test on myself on how to make shoes. And so far, I've been 
good at it, so I'm very excited. Students at Welding and Fabrication Training Center undertook theory and three different practical assessment tests. I shall be here training for, the, for like, let's say two months now. And our supervisor here has been like, has given us, he's giving us his own time to make sure we all follow up and we'll be following up. So we don't find it difficult in during the theoretical aspects, neither the practical aspects. So I feel very okay. I just, I don't believe every other thing they did today. I find it so very easy, not so difficult. Because I've been training hard here. If you're giving us his own time to make sure everybody has to train very well and you have to follow up. And I believe we all are here. I don't think anybody is left behind. At the hairdressing and makeover training centers, the students did makeover, hair plating, fixing of eyelashes, and scarf tying as their assessment task. This is my robo bride on our side where I came from. These are the dress during the traditional marriage ceremony. The eyeshadow, I use the eyeshadow because of the tie. If you look, the two goes together. No, I use this white bead because this is what suits these outfits. There are other types of beads, but I prefer this white because of our outfits. I'm very happy because this is my first test. And I'm happy for this opportunity given to me by the Super Deck. And I'm very grateful to them. I would commend them. They have done very well. I'm impressed. For this particular skill, we know that it's like getting a basic and then we'll now master later. So for now, they've both gotten the basic skill. So it's left for them to now master it and then polish up the skills that they have learned. So I'm, I'm impressed with what they have come out with. The Sopadek Weekly TV crew monitored students of two different training centers of fashion design. This design here is called gathers or pleats. I call it a uh, pleating. So I fold my fabric into two. I use eight inches. So for that is I join my lines. Then I turn it to the front. Then I started to print on it. That's how I got me this lovely, half lovely skirt. The super day, thank you so much for this opportunity you gave to me. I'm so excited. God bless you. And I love you all, the super deck. Fashion is a very uh, long time learning. But within two months, you can see they've tried, they've made the clothes that they put on, a nice gown, a beautiful gown. You can see them, this one with the short knicker and the handless. So they really tried, it's not really easy. So by the time they've stayed up to the six months training, that time they must have gone very far and they will do very well and they will, very, they will do very well to come out in the labor markets. The catering and confectionery session were not left out in the continuous assessment tests. This same um, soup is scrambled egusi soup and the ingredient we used to make it is palm oil, red palm oil, melon, vegetable, fresh pepper, tomatoes, onions, stock fish you can add dry fish if you want to meat crayfish and maggi to season it and salt you can eat it in any of the party even wedding party you can eat it with padediam or aku in any of the parties wedding birthdays even in burial ceremonies you can eat it there with the way they perform today with the performance i see today expect much from them because they are going to do better I know that the next time that you come, you'll be surprised of what they will present to you. Because even me, I'm even shocked with when I tested it, I'm, I'm shocked with what I tested, as in what their performance. Indeed, the year under review has no doubt been an eventful one for the agency, with a flurry of activities at the Desopardic Skills Academy. And this is our package for your viewing pleasure today. Do join us again when we return next week with another interesting edition. But until then, as you know, we like to hear from you. Our social media handles are on your television screen. Do comment, like, and share. On behalf of the entire crew, once again, we say thank you. Joy Uchi is my name.